Lee Gord president, Zerlina Smith member. She is a South Austin resident and activist who says she is inspired by her grandmother. In 2019, she ran for Chicago City Council to represent the city's 29th ward. Zerlina Smith members, good morning to you. Good morning, and let me say happy Mother's Day to you and the whole staff and everyone who sees this. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Appreciate that. We are starting with a key question for all the candidates in this race, and the question is, what would be your top priorities if elected? Oh, wow. It's so many. My top priority mainly would be to make sure that we put the dignity and the respect back into the county um, environment. We, at this moment, know that county is understaffed. We know county has an $8.1 billion budget, but yet and still, it doesn't provide the adequate services that the residents or the employees of the county deserve and need. So making sure we put the people first, that would be my main priority. Well, you have a plan too, I read, that's the four L's plan, which is interesting when you say understaffed, because the four L's stand for less taxes, less government, less regulation, less crime. Criminal safety is a top issue for some of your opponents. So how would you tackle that issue? And do you have some specific ideas? Um, the specific idea as far as crime, let's be real clear. I do live in Austin, which is one of the most um, violent communities, however you want to look at it. When you think of one of the L's and you think of crime, we have to remember that our judges' hands are tied. We have to remember that <clears throat> We have prosecutors. We have to remember that we have a flawed electronic monitoring system that is ran by the sheriff's office that is understaffed. And we continue to let violent offenders out on electronic monitoring systems that are not working, that does not have enough manpower to maintain or to keep up or track with these individuals. So I'm suggesting, as I do so well, as advocate and, and be a voice to make sure that we work with our legislators, we work with our judges to make sure that we have a bond that's set at $100,000 for violent offenders and making sure that they no longer return back to the same communities or your community and create havoc because crime is out of control and crime is the main focus for not just the county race it should be for the state and the city this is a, a issue that needs to be handled right now and everyone needs to come together and work together it shouldn't just be a plan put forth um, by the municipality the mayors it should be a plan put together with all elected officials who right. have the power to do so. This is very interesting because bond is set by a judge and the judge actually determines all the factors. If there's a criminal history, what the crime is, how do you plan to influence the judges there and that particular part of the system? I understand what you're saying about all the players, but the judges are the ones who actually make that decision once the person who's been arrested is standing right in front of them. Uh, that would be so good to believe, right? Everything is politics, and we and we know right now, if we continue to play with uh, pushing the blame, the judges aren't the one who really set forth um, those bail. They, they're presented issues in front of them like any other court, and they have to look at what they see, and then they also have to listen to the prosecutor. They also have to listen to the chief judge, Evans, and most of this stuff comes from legislators. So when they get those new laws that tell them no cash bond and all these other things that are presented by people who don't or who is not affected by the violent acts of um, what these people are intended to do, they just follow the status quo. One area of proven support is campaign contributions and compared to your opponents, you've struggled in that area. Are you concerned about that at all? You know why I struggle, and I love this part about who I am. I am truthfully grassroots. I am the underdog in this race, as usual. And I donated, or well, I gave my campaign, self-funded, $160,000. I do know a lot of millionaires, but I, to know how elections work and politics work, I'm not going to ride the backbones of anyone else to be beholden to their agenda. What is the most important point you would like to make? I would like the people to know that I'm one of them. I am a resident. People want to label me as an activist, but I sit on national boards, national committees. I'm not new to this. When you look for the qualifications, you need to look for someone who has the compassion to represent the not just the residents of Cook County, but the residents of the state of Illinois. We have the biggest base of voters. And that power and those resources that 
we have needs to make sure that they meet everyone. And looking at Zerlina, I am you. Can campaign contributions, I can do like the Obamas, grassroots, I'm a Democrat. I'm running to serve the constituents of Cook County and demise all the efforts that the current elected officials, and that means the Cook County Board President and also the Democratic Committee of Cook County. All right, Zerlina Smith members, thank you so much this morning. Appreciate your time. Thank you.